So that's really interesting to me because so I've had I've had Jimmy Dowd and Alex Schlegel on the podcast before. Jimmy made the point, which has really stuck with me as I've talked to more athletes, is that he feels the most stressed and anxious as an athlete when he is completely focused and locked in on his sport hockey. Ali uh, co-signed that sentiment. For you, it, uh, does that apply to you? Or um, do you think that there is a need for student athletes to have other interests while in college outside of the sport? Because as an outsider, I look up to like the Kobe's and LeBron's and like these athletes that say you got to be obsessed or whatever. But in the reality, we're still human at the end of the day. And being obsessed on one thing can drive someone crazy. Mm-hmm. So for you, like, does that apply to lacrosse too? Like, do you have other, other interests? And do you agree that like being focused completely on a sport as an athlete is not beneficial for you personally? Yeah. Um, for me, like, I would say I'm like 100% different from Jimmy and Allie. Okay. Like, I do agree with them in that aspect of like focusing so much on our sport there are a lot of stresses and anxiety because like at the end of the day like we have to perform if we want to be out on the field like we have to perform we're in the big Ten. and it's very competitive but like my story is different because I've dealt with a lot of injuries the past few years like high school I blew out my knee playing soccer Ever since that, it's been hard. It's been, like, trying to build myself back up and get ready to play. And then, like, the next thing would happen. Like, I've had three um, knee surgeries on my right knee. So, like, it's just, like, a constant battle for me. So, like, yeah. for me, that's what my stress and anxiety, like, comes from in the sport because I just want to be out there playing the sport that I love. Yeah. And I've had to overcome a lot to be able to do that. So my most recent surgery was last fall and that's like when I realized like lacrosse is such a different sport because it's an upcoming sport yeah there's the uh, men's PLL for women's there's the AU pro league that's like new okay. like it's not a sport like soccer or hockey where you're making money so like it's a great sport in college to like be like hey like I was part of, like, the Penn State women's lacrosse team, and it's a great accomplishment, and, like, I'm super grateful to be a part of this, but I came to a realization that there is more to than just, like, my sport itself. So, like, this year, I started getting more involved with, like, clubs on campus, like, part of Association for Women's Sports Media. I joined Penn State Sports Night because, like, I want to be able to talk about sports. I love sports. Sports is my entire life, <laughs> in a sense. Um, but so, like, now for me, I'm still going to compete at the highest level I can and give it my all every single day at practice, games, and do anything I can help the team. But, like, I have, like, all this extra stuff in my back pocket for after college. So, like, I can do something and not just be like, holy crap, I spent my last four years of college just focusing on lacrosse. Now there's not really a pathway to it unless you're going to become a Division One lacrosse coach because a lot of the top players in women's lacrosse, as soon as they graduate, they become a lacrosse coach, okay. which is fantastic. Yeah. And, like, that's what they were meant to do. And, like, they excelled in the game. Why not make other girls excel in the game too? Mm-hmm.